Hi and welcome to Rags to Witches, I'm Lauren, welcome if you're new here. This is a very random video for me to put on this channel, um, simply because I do eBay reselling and this is just a little story of what happened to me when I was two years old back in 1997? 1997, yeah. <laughs> Get that right. Um, so. Yeah, the video was in 2003, um, it was recorded on VHS, so the quality is really bad, so don't bash me for it. It was on the BBC, you paid your TV licence for that quality back then. Crazy. Um, but yeah, uh, this is... I really want to share awareness to a lot of parents out there who, who have young children or people who look after children, that these things need to be not overlooked because these things happen it happened to me and it could happen to any child so please please be kind in the comments um but yeah i will be at the end of the video explaining a little bit more if you're a bit confused but yeah thanks for watching guys enjoy teenager rachel franks is a big casualty fan over the years she's watched her favorite characters rescue countless victims if she hadn't paid close attention, the story we're about to tell you would have had a very different ending. Before the accident happened, we were both in the room. Um, Lauren was watching telly. Dude, they're lovely. Now, who knows, with any luck, when mm. and Milby might be Which one's that, Lauren? On that morning, I was uh, doing smiling in the kitchen. It was about dinner time. Do you want something to eat? Yeah. Can I have chocolate that book in? I put on the kettle. What do you want? Oh, I don't know. Surprise me. Okay. Thanks. Um, now you need to uh, round up the corners. Just happened so quickly. That certain something. Just a total disbelief, really. I can feel it. It's coming. Rachel had only been out of the room for the time it took to boil the kettle. Lauren, but a freak accident had occurred. As I walked into the room, I saw Lauren um, up against the wall. Lauren, what are you doing? And it looked like she was just stood there, and I can remember thinking, what, why is she stood so, so, you know, close up against the wall? What's the matter? Are you all right? It didn't seem real. I just thought, what, what's she doing? You know, got up close to her. What, why is she... She stood like that. What's happened? How has she got like that in such a short space of time? You look strange. Do you are right? Lauren had slipped. She'd caught her head in the curtain cord and was hanging by her neck. Mum! What? Mum, come quick! What is it? Oh, my... Oh! Oh, my God! What's happening, Rachel? Oh, my God! What's happening, Rachel? I don't think she's breathing. hung there dead and her little feet was off the floor by about three or four inches. Oh. Oh. Just blind panic. I was shaking. Oh. I mean, I've got a two-year-old daughter. She's, uh, she's hanging by a curtain cord. I had actually got this Lauren on the floor at this point and as I got her down, I expected Lauren, it to be all right. And she wasn't. Oh, she's not breathing, Lauren! She just looked dead, really. I thought she was dead. I realised... This is really, really serious. I can just remember what I'd seen on television actually came into my head. Come on, darling. <sighs> oh, that's it. That's it. I thought I've got to get a breathing again. And in my head, I sort of run through my head step by step what to do, what I'd seen on telly. Check there are no blockages. Tilt the head back to get a good airway. And I knew that with a small child, because um, Lauren was only like two years old, to cover both the, the nose and the mouth. Take a breath, not too big, and breathe gently. And looking down the chest to see if she was, to see if there was anything there really. Um, after probably about five or six breaths, she did actually gasp for breath. I've got her breathing! Casualty, it just, 
it just seems so real when you're watching it, you know. Um, and it has such, obviously, it has such an impact on, you know, what you see. Obviously, it had an impact because I remembered things that I'd seen seen on, on um, casualty. Rachel did exactly the right thing for Lauren by doing the mouth-to-mouth -mouth ventilation with her mouth over both her nose and her mouth to prevent the air coming back down the nose. In adults, we get around that by pinching the nose and breathing just into the mouth. But in smaller children, it should be done exactly like she did. Miraculously, she remember every stage of it. It was a miracle, really, that she had done that. <sighs> She was breathing, but she was um, not conscious. Her eyes were just glazed looking up, and she was making this awful crying noise. She got this crying. It's an awful crying. The ambulance men uh, gave us instructions to get her on a table. I wiped the table with my arm, all this pots and photos straight off onto the floor, and we literally launched her on the table so we could you know, detect what they were asking is how she was breathing and what colour she was. OK, oh. No, no, no. I don't. It's not right, is it? She was just wailing. A cry which I've never heard a kid cry like before. It was uh, disturbing. The ambulance were there in, you know, such a quick space of time. Yeah, that's fine. And it just got ten times worse. A doctor actually came in um, and said that they're basically going to have to shut Lauren's body down um, and let machines do all the work for her because they need to rest her body and to rest her brain. And they said if she does survive, then she's more than likely to have very, very bad brain damage. For three days, Lauren was in an induced coma fighting for her life. When she actually came fully conscious, it was actually on my birthday, which was probably the best birthday present you could ever have, really. I knew as soon as she woke up she was OK because she, uh, she just hugged me and said, Mummy, and that was, like, well, better than all the money in the world. Lauren's a really happy little child. She knows that I saved her life, and she can't remember because um, her body was shut down, but she does, in, a, in her own little way, appreciate because she'll say, You saved my life. She's just so sweet, so special. Laura owes her life to her big sister, Rachel, and to Casualty. So, yeah, that was really upsetting. I hope that did not make you cry. Um, so there is something that really bugs me about that, um, that video in that it said that I was going to be brain damaged. Now, I don't know if any initial tests were done, um, after I came out of a coma or basically to see if my brain was functioning right. I think my brain's functioning fine. Um, I've got GCSEs, I've got a diploma diploma in food, I'm a chef, um, I'm head of my department at work. So yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> I think my brain's fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, it's just really strange to look back at that and just think, wow, that was like back in 2003, that video, and now I have a little boy who is three, going on four, and I have a partner, and we're getting married this year, and life's just really good. Um, so it is a happy story in the end. So thanks for watching, guys. And please take away this the message of putting putting fixtures on your curtain cords or getting rid of curtain cords because it is dangerous um also i don't have any scarring if you're wondering if i had a scar or anything i think there was just a red mark um but no scarring but i will tell you a fascinating thing if you, you want to call it fascinating um i have a tiny um bald spot at the back of my head somewhere I don't really know I think it's at this side um and basically that was from shock and all these years late, later I still have that bald spot from the shock of the treatment so it's just amazing what your body can do really so yeah thanks for watching guys bye <laughs>